watching this movie and I, I have to say I'm slightly emotional. After. Oh my gosh. Huh. I know the feeling. I'm pretty cold hearted that I was like <laughs> crying at the end. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I feel you. I was too at it when I saw the screening in Hollywood and then and then I saw it like a number of other times because we did the Oscar, uh, we did it for the, you know, it was it was Bolivian's entry for the Oscars. So and then spoke afterwards, the Academy of Members. It was really, really profound. It is a, it's a really profound film. How did you first get associated with the, this project? So I just auditioned for it, came through my agent, and I thought it was a really interesting script. It was a very long five-page monologue audition. <laughs> and I just kind of spoke in my natural voice, which I don't usually do. Um, you know, uh, in my natural accent, which, you know, ended up being the film. And I think, um, I think I just sort of struck a certain authenticity for myself um, in the role, which I hadn't really done before. You know, in Australia, I'd always played Australian roles, um, even in theatre, which, even you know, even with roles that were closer to who I am. Um, so, yeah, and the director just like uh, was incredible obviously Rodrigo who uh, wrote the film as well and, and produced it um, and had written it originally as a play which was a huge success and a huge movement in Bolivia and then worked that into the story of the film um, so yeah that's how I got involved and then obviously he you know was really intricate in terms of which was great for me to be able to give me the tools that I needed um, to create some, you know, the, just the tip of the iceberg, which is what you see in the film. There was also even more scenes as well that are not in there, but, um, you know, in terms of the actual person that I was playing um, in his life and what that meant and living with HIV today um, and what that means with all, you know, yeah, it was, and being an artist and being, it was very cool, very cool project because people were so, um, I think, intensely um, involved on, on a more personal and emotional level. Yeah. What's interesting about it is that I didn't until the end really understand the, the sort of full cultural impact that this had in, in Bolivia and that it was really part of, kind of almost like a social movement there. Um, did that have any impact on the way that the, the production went I mean in terms of you know who, who you got for the film and and the sort of you know it's it's great the way it's sort of woven in at the end um but I mean what what did what, what did that mean to you to be a part of something that was you know just so much bigger than just a movie project or yeah obviously it was really beautiful to be able to see um you know everything that had happened with the play already and how important that was um so, so that was that was something that was very special. I knew that much, um, and uh, and then, you know, in terms of I think people just really believing in the longevity of the project. I think that's one of the reasons, one of the many reasons why it's come so far and commercially now, um, and artistically, is that. Um, you know, all these wonderful people believed in it, like Oscar Martinez, who is just such an incredible actor, Rossi De Palma. Um, you know, I mean, all like, yeah, all the actors involved, I think. Um, but, you know, because it is real life and because maybe because we knew it was real life, um, it was probably, you had to really bring your A game in terms of believability, reality, emotion, um, and you see that with the lead actor, I mean, in such a big way, he's incredible. Yeah, I also thought it was very authentic in terms of just the way it presented, you know, gay men's lives in a really authentic and naturalistic way, uh, in a way I don't see a lot of other gay movies doing, um, which yeah. I thought was pretty... me too. <laughs> also, like, hyster there's parts of it that are hysterically funny, which... Um, which I mean, yeah, is hard to capture, but really captures uh, not only such deep sadness and 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 succinct, as you say, it's succinct, you know, about about gay men's lives. But yeah, also also the kind of hilariousness. Yeah, it did have that kind of moments of levity. Um, 
did you have a moment in the film that was the most impactful for you? Yeah, I mean, I think um, the, what he did really cleverly was, you know, there's three different actors playing one role and there's so many different actors um, in the stage play, which is, ends up being in the film. Um, and so that it really hits you on a subconscious unexplainable level that is not really very cerebral and something that's difficult to even discuss because it you know every it represents all of us it represents not only gay people but every human being and then you know even larger than that and the relationship that love can play in you know our lives um and the lack of that the, the, you know the and, and the minute you put a stop to that love with various things, um, as we see in the play, like expectations on your children, um, fear, uh, all these, all these things, how, 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 you know, what a catastrophic impact that can have. Um, in this case, which is a true story, you know, it's kind of the worst case scenario that happened, and and you have you have a myriad of different um, scenarios that do happen in so many people's lives and still happen and will continue to unfortunately happen until we kind of break down this, the stigma of being gay. So final question, um, what do you hope that audiences take away from this film as a message? I think one of the biggest things for me, for people to take away is that no matter who your children are, you have, no choice but to embrace everything that they are otherwise you're going to have a terrible time and they're going to have a terrible time they're not going to be successful um they're not going to blossom into something that you hope your children you hope your children blossom unfortunately they're not going to blossom in the way that you had had thought that they would blossom and this is really for me i don't know some kind of you know almost like a terrible warning as to what happens, you know, and it's a true story about when you have your own personal hangups and fears and learned behavior and you put those onto your children and you cut off the channel for immense love and um, some of the best experiences, you know, you could ever ask for in your life. Um, so it, it really, to me, is, is that powerful and then some. I don't know what you took from the film, but for me, it was, you know, also obviously all the other actors, every, every, they just represent all of us. And, um, you know, the truth, the truth is, is something that obviously has come to the fore now in so many ways with so many different movements, um, social movements. Um, and yeah, I'm like, I want to be here, you know, and I want to be present and I want to be myself and I want to, uh, be a part of that.